good afternoon to all of my boss buddies i hope you guys are doing wonderful i hope you are doing well today today is saturday and i am going to um, go to my mother's house so that you all can see how she transforms the ordinary boxes into the beautiful gift boxes that you have seen me representing here on youtube so for those of you that say i don't have the money to buy baskets i don't know um, or I can't find um, reasonable baskets. Here is a substitute or an alternative to those of you that do not have the money or you just simply want to save money, okay? So we'll be back in a few minutes at my mom's house. Okay, boss buddy, so we are now at my mom's house and she is going to show you guys um, how she transforms the ordinary boxes into the gift boxes that I have been showing you guys, okay? Stay tuned. Hello, boss, boss buddies. <laughs> this is Felicia's mom, Ann, and I'm gonna show you exactly what I do to a box, a regular box that you can pick up from any ABC store or any grocery store. It's just a plain box. What I do is I take the lid off of the box. I cut the lid, try to keep it as even as you can. And I take my wrapping paper. And what kind of paper is it? This actually is Christmas paper. Okay, so. But it's red, it don't have any Santa Claus on it, so you can always use red paper that you get from Christmas, you can always use this for Valentine also. Mm -hmm. So we always try to pick up on all kinds of paper that have red or some, some form of redness in it that we can do. So I kind of like measure my box off, kind of look, I've basically been doing it for so many years that I can basically know whether my paper is going to be long enough. If I have too much on each end, uh, I just basically judge basically on how I feel about it. I know now, if I cut this right here, it's gonna be enough to wrap that complete box. So you kinda of just take the paper up and kinda of measure it. Yeah, kinda of like you... sort of like estimating, you know, sort of like giving a feel of where the paper should be at. So you have enough to cover the inside of the box because you don't want the paper to be right at the edge, but you want it to come down enough so that you don't, you, that when you put, actually fill the box up, you still showing the front of the box, the outside of the box so basically look like the inside of the box. Okay. But anyway, I'm here to show you right now. So I always keep my tape in my hand while I'm doing it. And I always kind of like judge it before I start taping so I know whether I got too much on it one end or too much on the other. I try to keep it basically the same as much as possible. So I pull this down and that, that should be ready. Like this. I'm gonna fold it over. Basically, it's like wrapping any kind of box for any occasion. But this is how we do boxes that people throw away or whatever you want to say. Okay. I'm gonna keep going. Okay, let's just take that. Kind of snug it up a little bit. Pull it a little bit, tighten it up, but not to the point that you would tear it. So pull it firm. So yeah, that get you it firm. Uh, mm -hmm. So you don't have a bunch of, your paper won't look, your box will look neat, in other words. But we don't we do, do tacky stuff. stuff over here. We don't do buddies. tacky now. We don't do tacky. Not over here. Okay, and you learn how to judge your paper. Push back things, certain things, and just kind of judge your paper. It's a little bit, gonna be a little bit too long. You can always cut. Right here, I don't have to cut because it's gonna be perfect. So I smooth out all my little edges and I start this way. This side, this is how I do it. I get it going like that, so just to get it the way that I want to do it. Because each box, I do the paper turn a different way to fold it up. But so this time, I'm going to do this one like this. This here is the way I do my paper. Keep my box neat. 
and be able to keep everything where it's not real shattered. So what she's doing now is what I taught you all on how to professionally wrap a box. Make sure that you are using creases where you're having to fold it so that the paper will go across crisp and give a nice professional polished look. Mm -hmm. So it's basically like wrapping a regular gift. Only thing is this is an open box instead of a closed box. So it's a little bit more challenging than wrapping a regular mm -hmm. gift box. And like I said, you take each piece and you do different things. You always kind of like, like I said, just it's a feel of you being able to feel if everything is going to be neat when you come out with the finish like this right here. See, I'm pulling, I'm just enough to get the firmness of it. Even though I told that little piece there, it's still okay. But that's what you got tape for. As you can see my hands, I'm steady folding and filling out to seize it. So make sure y'all are using transparent tape. I always tell you that whenever you're using wrapping gift boxes or wrapping gift baskets, make sure you're using transparent tape and not the frosted look make sure it's clear so that everywhere you put tape it it's not actually being seen that, that's where the little tear was hit a while ago that i had in the paper but now you see you don't even see it now i'm gonna go in the inside and fix the inside of the box on this side so and this is what i do i go in the inside and see, what you don't have to worry about is that whether that be even or not because your basket going to have your fillings on the inside mm -hmm. going to come up to it. But you at least want to come that far down so that the box will look the same after you put it, you know, like when you put it in, it'll still look the same on the inside as doing outside once you get your items in there. So this here is what I'm doing now. I'm just closing it up. So this part isn't going to be seen. None of that will be seen because all your items will be in there. But you do want to get it down good so that <clears throat> when Felicia get old, she don't have to do a whole lot of nothing in the inside. So we'll be back in a few minutes with a completed look. Okay, so here the box is pretty much complete. And after she finished the wrapping process, then we put the red glittery hearts on the front that you can purchase from Dollar Tree, Dollar General, or any of your local department stores that sell Valentine's items. And here you have a transform regular cardboard box into a beautiful gift box that you can put whatever items you would like to put and in. And you can see both sides look exactly the same. All right, so that's the finished product, guys. And I will include some clips to show you what some of the gift boxes look like that are already complete. 